Hey, it's Iran here. In case you are an existing SIM card customer or considering to use SIM card, you may have noticed that as of July 2025, their pricing is actually completely changed. Stick around with me to the end of this video. I'm going to give you an alternative, which is a really good alternative. But moreover, I'm going to explain to you why are those price changes even happening in the first place? Let me share my screen and show you. So if you look where it says, where did all the plans go? And this is on the pricing page of SIM card. And it says SIM card is now exactly one plan, which means your SIM card account gets every single feature we have with zero limits. Pricing starts at $79 per month and only goes up as you make money. How does it work? You get all the features, no gated plans and starts at $79. Does my price increase? Your price only goes after you boost conversions. So here's the thing, right? Basically, if you scroll up, you will see the actual pricing and we're just going to go month to month just for demonstration purposes. We can also look at annual, but we'll do month to month. Basically, if you're just getting started and you're brand new, they're going to charge you $79 a month for using their software, regardless of whether you make any money. Then as you scroll, you are going to increase your revenue. You'll get to $3,000 you'll get to $3,000 and it's still going to be $79. As soon as you hit $4,000 a month, you're going to be charged 109 a month, $5,000 per month. You're going to be charged $129 a month, $10,000 a month. As soon as you're at the six figure mark per year, you'll be charged $219 per month. When you make $200,000 per month, you'll earn this much per month. When you earn 30,000, you'll be charged $399 per month, 40,000, 50, and you can have a look at the number now. We're up to almost $500 per month, $75,000 a month, and you'll earn this much. And then when you earn $100,000 a month, you'll be charged $849 per month, 500,000, it's $1,000 a month, a million, and so on. Now, here's the thing. This is something that you need to understand. I know some of these numbers, some of you might be looking at this and be like, well, geez, Iran, I I'm, when I make $50,000 a month, I'll be happy to pay $500 a month. I'm just going to tell you right now, as somebody who is in this particular realm of revenue, I can tell you right now, no, you don't want to pay that much. And I'll tell you exactly why. In reality, this is your revenue. This is not your profits. You may be spending 70% of your revenue, whatever you're making on paid ads, just to scale to that level, this is going to put a, a strain on your business as you continue to grow. And you're actually getting penalized for making more money, which is anyway, I, I personally don't like it. I'm not a SIM card customer, but I think this is a, a definitely not a good feature and definitely not a good pricing model for most people. And I would strongly encourage you not to go that route. So you might be wondering, what's the alternative? So the software that I have been personally using for over three years now is system.io. Now, if you look at their pricing, we're going to go not annual, we'll go month to month. We have a, a rough comparison. On the freemium plan, you're going to see that you can have 2000 email contacts. You also get email marketing, you get newsletters, you get three sales funnel, 15 funnel steps, and pretty much you get something of everything. But the main thing is you're getting no transaction fee, meaning you're not actually going to get penalized for making more money. And all the integrations are available for all of these particular payment options, which there is a lot of them. And essentially you get everything you need for this particular, even on the free plan. There is certain limitations, of course, but if you just want to test drive and see what it is about, you can get a good feel for it with the free plan. Now, majority of my customer are actually on this plan, which is the startup plan. And this is $17 a month. It includes 5,000 email contacts. It includes 10 email campaigns. You have um, automation rules, workflows, tags. Don't worry about that. This is just a way to segment the audiences. Basically, you can have 10 sales funnels. You don't get evergreen webinars. This is only available on the medium plan. You get one click upsells, 10 of them. You have upsells and downsells as well. So when you look at sales funnel steps, every step will count as an upsell. So if you want to have six upsells on a funnel or four upsells or three upsells or two upsells and a downsell, each one of these will count as a funnel step. So 50 is really plenty depending on uh, how many funnels you have. But you know, if you have five funnels and every one of them has 10 steps, I mean, this is plenty. So you'll need the initial step, which is a sales page, order form, upsell, upsell, downsell, upsell, and a thank you page, seven steps, eight steps or whatever. You could see there's basically plenty of those still to be out to be used. There is no transaction fees at all on any of the plans at all whatsoever. You also can do uh, course hosting in this particular uh, software as well. You also have communities. You can run your own affiliate program and you have a bunch of other integrations as well. And all the 
Plans include unlimited emailing, unlimited file storage, unlimited students, affiliate marketing, and no transaction fees. So that is the alternative. Now, personally, I am actually on this plan, which is 970 a year, the unlimited. And you can see it's unlimited everything, unlimited funnels, unlimited domains, unlimited segmentation, unlimited everything, file storage, click up sales, order bumps, no transaction fees, unlimited calendars, all that stuff. Essentially, System.io does everything that Calendly does, everything that SimCart does, anything that ConvertKit does. And yes, if you were to compare very minor features and go really, really granular, you may find some differences, but overall System.io does everything. I have been using System.io for over three years and it is absolutely fantastic on so many levels. And I run my entire multi six-figure business on this platform. So brief history on SamCart. You can see that basically SamCart was launched in March 2014. And then August 2014, they had the beta version. And then they actually continued to grow. They had a million dollar launch here. The template builder was released in September 2019. And this is the turning point or a turning point. November 2019, SamCart raised $3 million in venture capital. Okay. Then December 2020, just a year later, they raised another $10 million. Then they launched a course app in June 2020. Then in November 2021, they raised $82 million. Now, there's a couple of points to note on that. First of all, you can see the official announcement on their website for that particular capital raise as well. And all the information is there. And then you can see December 2021, they have 50 employees. April 2022, they have 100 employees, etc., etc. Now, here is the issue and why this is happening with this crazy price increasing. Essentially, what you have is a company that has raised so much money that now they have a board of directors and investors that are thinking in their mind about the next quarter and how they're going to make their money back. They have invested X amount of dollars, $82 million. How are they going to make their money back? And this is when price hikes happen. And when you hire 50 employees, 100 employees, these are employees in the US as well. These are probably with offices and things like that. And all that happens is it blows out the actual outgoing of the company because they're putting so much money into the business that now at some point, well, the revenue has to increase in order to make up and give the investors their money back. And how does that happen? Well, the customers are the ones that are going to essentially get penalized by getting price hikes because the company needs to make more money to be able to pay those investors back and make it worth their while. And this is something that is very, very common in the venture capital world. That's just how things work, right? And unfortunately, when you're in the space like payment processing for something like SamCart or ThriveCart or System.io or Kajabi or any of these, a lot of the customers of these companies are solopreneurs, people who are stay-at-home moms or entrepreneurs working from home or traveling or whatever. And essentially, like these are not big corporations that are able to afford massive price hikes. And so as soon as you have these massive price hikes, it kind of turns off a lot of solopreneurs to be like, well, hang on, I, this is not what I signed up for. I cannot afford this. And I feel this is what's going to happen to SimCard. This has been something that has happened time and again in various previous companies. It happened with Teachable when they sold for $250 million. It happened with Active Campaign as well, uh, not so long ago when they massively raised their prices. And it will continue to happen every time you have a venture capital type company that has those investments. Now, does that mean I'm against venture capital? Uh, it's got nothing to do with that. So of course, there is pluses to this particular business model. Obviously, it's been, you know, proven to work. That's how people grow their businesses and capitalism. I'm not, this is not a debate about the business model. I'm just saying in reality, when you have those type of venture capitals, and then you have the software company, the CEO, the founder, they're losing certain level of control to the board of directors, to the investors, because they have shareholders they have to please and get them their money back, basically. Now, why I love System.io one of the reasons why I'm such an evangelist for that particular company, because I personally know the CEO and they are not venture capital funded. The CEO slash founder of System.io is 100% the owner of the company. He has never raised a dollar for the company. And I've met him in recent months, okay? And, you know, I, 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 I'm one of their top affiliates and, you know, definitely a very, not, not a, I wouldn't say a, big, a biggest customer because they don't have, you know, it's a lot of solopreneurs and I'm just another solopreneur, but I'm a very, how should I say, you know, a big fan of the company and I have a big YouTube channel about it. And I, I love what they do. I love the 
features. They constantly release things. And the thing is that they are also the entire company, in case you didn't know, is actually completely remote, meaning they're actually hiring. They don't have any offices. So they aren't obsessed with crazy overheads and crazy marketing strategies and spending a ton of money of advertising or anything like that. They're a very lean company based on all appearances. I don't know the inside skinny exactly. I don't know their numbers, but they have the entire company is fully remote. They have no offices. And you know, all those factors, when you don't have a board of directors, you don't have investors to please, it's just going to affect the pricing. In fact, in the last few months, the CEO of System.io made an announcement that they are reducing the pricing of System.io. They've actually reduced it. It was $27 a month. Now it's $17 a month. So it's just a totally different ballgame in terms of, you know, customer pricing and the features and all that stuff. And they've released more and more features and they haven't increased the price. They've reduced it because a company that stays lean, a company that doesn't have crazy overheads is able to afford that. So there you go. That's my two cents. Oh, and their affiliate commission is way better than SEMCARD as well because they can afford that. So that's another point. Like this, all these factors really come into play. Anyway, I don't want to ramble too much. If you have any questions for me, leave a comment below. Let me know what questions you have. I'm happy to do a review of features and answer any comparison features because I can give you a whole thing about the different features and how they uh, compare. So you're welcome to just ask me in the comments. I also have another video comparison between SIM card and system IO where I actually compare features in much greater detail. I have another video announcing the pricing change of system IO. So you know how they reduce your pricing. By the way, I personally moved away from Kajabi to system IO when I moved to system IO three plus years ago. And I have a comparison video on that as well. So you can check all of those and definitely leave a comment below with any questions you have. I am an affiliate of system IO. If you want to learn more about my bonuses, I offer one-on-one -on -one tech support and uh, help when you are integrating all the different things that you need to get done and various other bonuses. You can check it out by going to a run.link forward slash SIO bonus. And one other point, if you have anything in SEM card, system IO will migrate everything for you for free when you use the annual plan of 170 a year, just so you know. If you want to check it out, I have a guide on that. If you go to a run.link forward slash migrate, there'll be a full guide explaining the migration process as well. That's about it. Leave any questions for me below and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.